Hi friends, we're learning about Africa and African animals this week, so I'm going to read Safari So Good. It was written by Bonnie Worth, but it's part of the Cat in the Hat Library. Here we go. I'm the Cat in the Hat. Pack your bag. Come with me. We're going to Africa on Safari. Pack your sunglasses and your sun hat. Remember your camera. You don't forget that. You've got front row seats in my animal viewer, the truck we will take on our African tour. In the African game park, we will be getting the chance to see wildlife in the natural setting. But here is a fact I will tell you today. Animals are predators or else they are prey. Predators hunt weaker animals to munch. Prey tries hard not to be a predator's lunch. This would be a predator right here, friend. That, that's a carnivore. So it's an animal that hunts other animals, kind of like T-Rex or Spinosaurus. These are the prey. So these are the smaller animals and they most likely just eat um, leaves and grasses like herbivores, like a Triceratops. Off to the river, we will go first. Here animals come to quench their thirst. Look at those warthogs drip chop over there. Mom, dad, and piglets with tails in, their in the air. Look at them. There they are. African buffalo graze where it's wet. Their horns have the look of a sturdy helmet. Grass, 90 pounds a hippo eats nightly. Are the babies called caps? Yes, you have guessed rightly. A hippo's skin can burn in the sun's rays. Mud and water protect her, so that's where she stays. <clears throat> Let's move on to the lions with their tawny hides. They live all together in groups known as prides. A cub has brown spots from his head to his ear. At three months of age, all those spots disappear. Lions like sleeping for most of the day. Their roars rattle windows from miles away. I'll name you a cat that one rarely sees. That cat is the leopard who hangs in the trees. A leopard's black spots come in very neat sets of circular patterns that are called rosettes. See those circular patterns right there? She stalks, runs, and leaps to hunt down her prey. She hunts in the night and she sleeps in the day. The cheetah is covered with sleek, spotted fur. The cheetah can't roar, but oh, can she purr. With long and strong legs, the cheetah has power to run up to 70 miles an hour. Cheetahs run fast, and here is the scoop. Cubs sometimes play soccer with elephant poop. Speaking of elephants, here is the word. 50 or so can be in one herd. Male elephants can grow to 11 feet high and weigh over 10 tons. Hello there, big guy. Calves walk from day one and have some body hair, which soon all rubs off due to life's wear and tear. The whole herd will circle, will circle and sound the alarm and crowd round the young ones to keep them from harm. The elephant's tusks are tools, as you see, for scraping up roots or the bark off a tree. They also will use their tusks in a fight, and they tend to favor the left or the right. And just as one hand of yours is the stronger, one of an elephant tusk can be longer. The trunk of the elephant's very long nose which can lift heavy things or spray like a hose or pick up one single blade of green grass or plat like a tuba that's made out of brass. Two kinds of rhinos, oh, you are so right. One is called black, the other is called white. A white rhino's lips are wide like a bow. He nibbles at grass 
his head hanging low. The zebra belongs to the horse family. Those stripes tend to make her quite tricky to see. They all look alike, but please bear in mind, each zebra has stripes that are one of a kind. Zebras rarely lie down and sleep on the ground. They sleep standing up. Predators might be around. Do you see that predator right there? It's looking. And here is a question to stump you all right. Are they white with black stripes or else black striped with white? At birth, giraffes drop six feet to the ground. In minutes, they're standing and looking around. All giraffes forage, it is plain to see. Here's one with her head in an acacia tree. Her 18-inch tongue and her tough, spongy lips help her to eat the leaves' sharp, thorny tips. Giraffes have big eyes with long lashes that bat at the dust and the grit and the bugs and all that. With strong legs and hooves and a good bit of trying, they can often outrun a lioness or lion. Baboons band together in big roving groups. They hunt, eat, and sleep in these bands we call troops. Baboons have sharp teeth and they walk on all fours. They eat plants and meat, so they are omnivores. Baboons are big pickers of each other's fur. They pick till they find every tick, flea, and burr. Safari so good. Let's find a campsite where we'll pitch up, we'll pitch our tent and stay for the night. The dog over there is the side-striped jackal. He welcomes his mate with a loud howling cackle. Oh, that's the dog right there. I see him. The Galago's eyes, when they catch the light, glow green like a cat's in the dark of the night. The spotted hyena goes looking to eat. The dead or the dying, a scavenger's treat. In the wee morning hours, herds of antelope roam over 20 kinds called Mother Africa home. We have just enough time to look at a few, so I'll pick out some different kinds to show you. Eland is the largest. The, it measures six feet. Wow, that's big. The royal, the royal antelope, 10 inches petite. And don't miss the sight, whatever you do, of the twin. Your twirly horn, handsome, great kadoo. Impalas are smaller. Here's how to ID them. Stripes on their rear ends form a bold letter M. A head like an ox and a mane like a horse. A beard like a goat? Hmm. A wildebeest, of course. Let's find just one more antelope if we're able. The bashful, soft-coated, sickle-horned sable. All of these antelope can run fast, and so the fast will survive, not as often the slow. Our safari is ending, but for goodness sakes, let's stop for one look at my two favorite snakes. This mighty rock python squeezes its prey. Snakes called constrictors behave in that way. The carpet viper is a small snake that everyone heeds. Its fangs inject poison. It lurks in the weeds. Safari so good, home again like a shot. Just look at the great photographs that we got. Which one's your favorite? Which which turned out the best. Some turned all, out all fuzzy, but we'll save the rest. My number one favorite? Oh, take a wild guess if you said lions. I'd have to say yes. Ooh. 
me and hope you enjoy our safari week.